Lucas Auctions R232 video file 780, uh, starting with the ones illustrated in the catalogue. This is uh, Western Australian postmarks mainly on George 5, but obviously with a bit of uh, earlier material. Gabinentha is very scarce. Jardine Mill is too, but that's not such a great uh, strike. But Larkinville, Burbanks, which some cloth has put upside down. I object to postmarks being upside down if they're there for the postmark. Take note if you're exhibiting and I'm judging and you've got something in there for the postmark and it's upside down, I won't be happy. Or on its side for that one. Five shilling Rue cancelled Bamboo Creek. There's lots of useful stuff in here, particularly uh, higher value stamps, and postage due, stamps that will brighten up any postmark collection. Here are quite deep one and four pennies. And there's lots of fine to very fine strikes. Post Fremantle W8, it's nice on the nine penny roo. Lewin, the earlier type. Higginsville, Highbury, Hines Hill. There's a lot of better items in here. Catanning on a block of four penny postage dues. So, it's really quite a useful lot. Numerous fine to very fine strikes. A lot of um, well, Lunenberg's hard. A lot of Mining camps, short-lived offices, timber mills, coloureds, mirrored and inviolate there. Another five shilling row. Two types of mulia beanie. I do like these yellow stamps for postmarks, they're terrific. Better than even than the oranges. And whereas most postmark collections are full of red, if you had a postmark collection that was all on tuppenny yellow swans and fourpenny um, lemon George five and five bob kangaroos, you'd say, oh, that looks good, doesn't it? Look how well the postmarks stand out on those yellow stamps. say many hundreds it feels like it's over a thousand uh, some bits and pieces on stock cards it's a South Australian numeral 307 but other numerals there WA types. Right, I think that'll be a popular lot.